school basketball playoffs have been wild so far, and Friday night's loaded slate of games definitely lived up to the hype. Over in Sumter, South Carolina, the, the Augusta Christian Lions had the chance to do something seldom seen in sports, which is win three consecutive state championships, but they would have to go through Cardinal Newman to do it. Khalil Pratt helped the Lions get off to a quick 9-0 run, and they dictated the pace for most of the way through the first two quarters. But the Cards flipped the script in the second half, outscoring the Lions 22 to 13 in the third quarter. After being down by as many as 15 in this game, Pratt made it a five point game with 35 seconds to go. But sadly, it was a tale of two halves for the Lions as Augusta Christian falls short of pulling off a three peat 71 to 61. Over the past three seasons, the Lions have an overall record of 74 and 18 with three straight trips to the state title game. We try to emphasize life lessons with our guys outside of basketball. Tonight is a life lesson about how to handle a loss. Augusta Christian basketball is in great hands. Um, I think the legacy and the standard has been set high. Um, again, uh, we're expected to be here every year at this point. Um, those are my expectations. Those are the program's expectations. And so this is a tough one. But at the end of the day, um, we'll be back. Oh, we'll be back. Back here in Augusta, the five-time defending region champion Cross Creek girls basketball team was hosting Savannah Country Day in round number two. Let's jump into the first quarter. Michaela Bogans is leading the break, and she drops a dime to Tajay Hawes, who takes the contact and gets the and one to go. The Creek led by four after the free throw. A couple of possessions later, some crisp ball movement around the outside helped find Bogans in the corner, and when she's not dishing the rock, she is getting straight buckets. Going to the second quarter now, Cross Creek was in full control and Layla Henry, uh, Layla Henry was being in her bag in this game and she was a major, major, major reason why. The Lady Backs dominated this game from the opening tip and never took their feet off the gas, winning by 35 to advance to the State Elite Eight. After 20 years of having a positive impact on this team and Augusta in general, head coach Kim Schlein is retiring at the end of the season. Here's what she had to say about her team's incredible performance and her family being in attendance. We haven't made great offense like that in a while and that was such a pleasure to watch. You know, we, we've been working offense and, and that's what we needed like you said, hitting the middle, making good passes, hitting the corners. Everybody was on and Alea Henry, number 15, was really on tonight. My family's always been supportive and knowing that it's my last year, my brother was here tonight, my sister-in-law, you know, all my family, my parents. It's just amazing. It's just amazing to have that support. The Lady Razorbacks will host the Class 3A State Elite Eight next Wednesday. And if the boys win their game on Saturday against Johnson, they'll be playing at home in the state quarters that same night as well. About 10 minutes down the road, the Butler Lady Bulldogs were on their home floor, going head-to-head -head with Tattnall County in their second round of the Class 2A state playoffs. In the first quarter, a little give-and-go action at the top of the key eventually led to Paris Floyd being money from three-point land, getting the Lady Bulldogs on the board. On Butler's next possession, Region Player of the Year, Brayla Harris is going to find Agent Zero, Karen Nimmo in the corner, and she is nothing but net on that three. And then with time winding down in the half, Brayla Harris stared into the soul of the defense and said, hey, I can shoot too, so why don't you take a look at this step back three and go back into the locker room for halftime. They might have been playing inside, but it was raining threes all over the place at Butler. Now the Lady Bulldogs are out of the, making this win look a little bit too easy out here, coming out on top 64 to 47. Here's a look at the rest of the GHSA girls playoff scores. After a great season, Burke County suffered a tough loss on the road to Fayette County. And the Swainsboro Lady Tigers dismantled Temple by 21. The Josie Lady Eagles drove all the way over to Brantley County and dropped them like a bad habit, 65 to 35, which means all three of our Augusta girls teams won. So Josie, Butler, and Cross Creek will all be playing in their state Elite Eight games 
next week. Sadly, the majority of our local girls teams from the GIAA didn't have that same level of success in their respective state quarterfinals. Westminster, Edmund Burke, Brentwood, and Thomas Jefferson Academy all came out on the wrong side of their box scores. However, the Briarwood Lady Buccaneers defeated Southwest Georgia Academy, so they're moving on to the GIAA Class 2A state semifinals. Most of our boys teams will that are still standing will be on the court on Saturday, so you can bet our playoff coverage will continue throughout the weekend. That's